now i want to explain you how to get the inverse of a matrix as you know that the inverse of 2 is 1 by 2 inverse of 3 is 1 by 3 inverse of x is 1 by x so ultimately there exists the inverse of matrices also two matrices are said to be inverse of each other if their multiplication is identity matrix as there are identity elements in where addition when 0 is added to any number we always get same number for multiplication we have what 1 if 1 is multiplied to any number we get the same number now the question is similarly for the matrices we have the identity matrices identity elements for the same order the question is inverse of the matrix by elementary row or column operation only either row or only column operation are required as and when we start operating either by rows then we follow the rows if by columns then only by columns find a inverse if a is equals to 1 2 2 minus 1 we want to find inverse of the matrix to find the inverse of matrix what is required to done a is equals to 1 2 2 minus 1 i have assumed that there is identity matrix of same 2 by 2 order that is what 1 0 0 1 the property of identity matrix is when it is multiplied to any matrix the result of the matrix remains same so what i can write this a matrix a is equals to identity matrix into a because when identity matrix is multiplied result remains same so a is 1 2 2 minus 1 left hand side and in the right hand side in place of y 1 0 0 1 and this a as it is now we want to apply operation in such a way that left hand side become the identity matrix because the product of the two matrices if it is equal to identity matrix then this these matrices are inverse of each other applying r1 is equals to r1 minus 2 r2 reason being we want to make here something like in the position that it should come out 1 0 0 1 so if we apply it both sides in the left hand side the first row is equals to row itself minus double of second so one minus this so this will give us that result one then two then zero and what we will get it is r1 we are operating r1 is equals to r1 minus twice of r1 itself so we will get it is one two 0 1 similarly if i apply here we will get this result and when we apply r2 is equals to minus 1 by 5 r2 we will get this result that is identity matrix which is equals to 1 by 5 2 by 5 2 by 5 minus 1 by 5 into a so ultimately what we are getting we are getting inverse of the a is this matrix because the product of these two is identity matrix hence inverse is given by 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 2 by 5, minus 1 by 5.